You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here we go with Porter Gon and Sean O'Malley. Certainly a dream matchup for fans. And if you are talking about the 10 or so biggest needle movers, pay-per-view draws in the company, you ain't having that conversation without Sean O'Malley, and he's in a big spot here tonight. He's in a massive spot because you can be famous, but ultimately you got to be successful. And Sean O'Malley is looking for the ultimate form of success by beating a former champion in Piotr Jan. Oh, pretty sneaky there to get the ankle pick. Back to his feet. Jan going for the takedown, but unable to land. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Both fighters throwing the heat now. Well, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. All right, good start for the Sugar Show, Sean O'Malley, realizing particular success with that left hand. Yeah, he's got a great left hand. He's so long for the weight that he pops the jab and he just darts it with the left hand. And you see it on full display right now. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. Nice. Now he's going full mount. Postures up. Ooh, and Back to his feet. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown? Oh, how about the ankle pick there? Well, if the single leg, the double leg's not working. Go deep into the well, and the ankle pick was there for him there. Boy, you gotta keep digging into that toolbox. He has so many different attacks. We saw that right now with that beautiful ankle pick. You wonder if the offensive fighter's gonna start to get frustrated here. Most stiffed on all these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked. Jan gets the double leg takedown. Featuring the American top team train flyweight contender Alessandre Pantoja. Injuries limited him to just one appearance in 2020, but now he is back in a more regular competing cycle, and the results really speak for themselves. This man poses danger everywhere. The danger factor particularly high on the ground when it comes to his submission game, but if you sleep on him on the feet, he'll put you to sleep. Just ask Matt Schnell. They're certainly getting after it early. Oh! Does a great job of mixing up the strikes. Lands another leg kick. Oh, how good is this? One minute into the fight, and we got a full-on break. These guys said that they were going to point to this in the octagon, and they were going to fight. Did I believe them? No. So right now, I am so wrong. They are doing exactly what they said. Yeah, shades of Max Holloway against Ricardo Lamas back in the day. Now he lands another combination, so it's net. Johnny's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. There you go. There you go. Oh, well placed with the hammer fist there by Brandon Murray. 
Oh, big elbow from the top. All right, side control now. Look at that. Recognize he was about to lose position. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move. You got to shrimp. You got to get off the hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. Oh, how about that transition to top position? Beautiful work by Moreno. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Moreno going for the leg kick. He does not connect. Back and forth we go. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. 45 seconds to go here in round one. Hook to the head there by Brandon Moreno. Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches in bunches. He's doing a great job. Clean punch. Round one winding down here. Oh, it's a perfect shot there, DC. And one more of the archer. There's the hole at the end of the round. Thankfully for him. Champion Piotr Jan with his boxing game and his unbreakable will in tow. He comes up on this challenge with Sugar Sean O'Malley, who is trying to take his spot near the top of the division. Watching Piotr Jan make his way to a championship was truly special to watch. It was good to see a guy that just had his eyes on the target. He was not going to be denied. But then when you look at Sean O'Malley, it seems as though we're watching a repeat of that. Another young athlete that made his mark on the culture of fighting, but now he gets an opportunity to make a mark on the rankings board and in terms of title aspirations in the UFC. This is a big spot to show him out. Great timing on that double leg. Oh, hammer fist here by Young. Oh, right into Mount. Nice positional control here. Pretty athletic off his back to avoid that strike from the top. O'Malley gets pounded here with these elbows to the head. Oh, that right hand barely missed there. Let's go. Let's get that takedown now. Under three minutes now to go on the round. That's a good kick by him right there. Level change there, goes for the takedown. Get the ball here. Oh, he got to the spot. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top.
going for a choke here. Oh, he's got it locked in. He's got that arm triangle deep. being applied here. Working from the top here. Pretty good ground and pound here by Yon. Really good job with the ground and pound. And now you can see some visible swelling on his opponent. All right, so a grueling battle on the ground. And no surprise, the crowd pops in appreciation as the fighters work their way back to the This is an educated crowd, J.A. They appreciate high-level grappling. And that's exactly what they got in that exchange. Listen, it's the control on the ground that's going to miss fight. All right, let's look back at some of the action from that previous. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, round two. Good news is he rocked him. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, you don't get those opportunities very often. Oh, elbows up top. Oh, nice elbow. Oh, nice job to block the kick. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Oh, man, the hard hook lane. Oh. With a massive highlight at the garden. Oh, my goodness. Charles Oliveira and Islam Makashev. Oliveira's winning streak from 2018 to 2022. Certainly going to withstand the test of time. It'll get him in the Hall of Fame. But the man who ended that streak, your former teammate, Islam Makashev. Yeah, Islam Makashev is one of the best fighters that I have had the ability to train with. He works so hard. He's so committed to being the best in the world. And on that night, he showed that. He beat the Charles Oliveira, who seems to be at the very top of his game. And he did it in a surprising way, knocking him down with his hands. But Du Bronx has said time and time again, I went back in the lab. I am better today. And this version of Charles Oliveira gets the job done against Islam Mahacho. Both sides. Oh, that was a big one there. 
Nice job striking here by Charles Dubois Oliveira. Outstanding UFC resume, and the striking is really starting to catch up with the grappling. Scary proposition, really, for any man in multiple divisions. So perhaps he's gonna have to do a quick level change. Oh, he see. went single, rotated head outside. This dude's going for a ride. Oh! I mean, take down. What a technique! What a take down! Great high impact skill. You could feel the canvas reverberating here at the Broadway. I mean, right there. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> it's like me running anywhere, John. <laughs> he's got to be careful here. And now he's got the back. Forty-five seconds. Huge elbow there. there, there. Oh, he's setting up an arm bar now. What a tight arm bar. So that's the end of the round. Potential adversity here. He's got a cut on his cheek sustained from that strike in the round. Now the focus becomes maximizing these 60 seconds, shutting that cut and preventing it from becoming a major factor here moving forward. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's do Round it. two on the way. thus far perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end these guys are gonna have to dig deep they're both hurt they're both hurt you expected it though you expected a close fight you did not expect a war like this though where both guys from the moment they said fight went forward got in each other's face and just beat each other up it's been oh! he's hurt he's wobbling he goes back to the well and lands another strike from the top and now, you can see the swell. Oh, seamless transition. Oliveira is now looking for a darts choke. Oh, my goodness. That darts choke is very tight. Oh, submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and his show in that defense. Oh, he's got that submission tight now. Side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Beautiful transition. Oh! All right, 
half guard position for him here, and I can hear Dominic Cruz in the back of my head just screaming about underhooks somewhere. Yeah, somewhere. he loved. I mean, but he's right, right? He's so. Oh. Somehow you got the best seat in the house. I sure did. All right, let's go. Beautiful setup to the leg kick. Oh, a huge block there. Oh, that's a big connection there for McGregor, DC. I mean, big strike landed by Ireland's favorite son, Conor McGregor. Big knee there. Fighters manage distance as efficiently and as well as Conor McGregor, and there's that left hand finding its home early. Oh, he does a great job of setting you up, man. You saw it in the Jose Aldo fight. The guy will just step back a little bit and bang, drops the straight left on you that can end your night. He not only throws this fast, he also is so accurate, and that allows him to finish so many fights. Oh! Huge kick to the head. Nice block. That's a beautiful body kick. And he caught the kick. Oh, beautiful strike there as he lands up top, and he does so right after catching the leg. So maybe you thought he would catch the leg and go for a takedown. Instead, he goes for the punch, and he certainly found the range on that one. Hands higher, hands higher. Under two minutes to go. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. He's in trouble. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He doesn't know if he's in the octagon or at his mama's house for Thanksgiving. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Knock him out. The fight's done. Oh, he hurt him again. Well, he's landed a few big uppercuts already. I will bet you a thousand dollars he sets it up. When I take my money, J.A. from that round. Round two, Conor McGregor Ready, and fight. Conor McGregor. Ready, good. Leg kick checked effectively there by McGregor. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut has opened up. 
Nice punch lands. Oh, big head kick there. Trading huge shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. McGregor gets caught by the straight punch. Man, look at that damage on the right side of his body. Starting to really bruise now. Lands the left punch now, followed by a right. Head kick attempt, unable to find the target. Man, that Conor McGregor left hand is just an absolute piston, and it lands again. It's like an atabomb. Like, you hit people, and they fall down. And he understands the power that he possesses. So he's willing to throw it over and over again. I just keep thinking back to him and Eddie Alvarez, how every time he hit him, he just knocked him out of his shoe. Conor McGregor's left hand is as good of a single strike as there is in the UFC. Yeah, he needs to register that. <laughs> so we have crossed the midpoint in this one. Work, work, come on. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. Oh, he... This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He lands a massive hook to put his opponent on wobbly legs. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Unable to connect with the right hook. McGregor's bleeding from the mouth. Daniel looks as though. Oh, 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 oh. Both men going for the finish. So far, a frantic pace as expected. Looks like it did stun him a little bit. He's hurt bad. win for him here tonight and the other side just couldn't handle the incoming assault a flurry of punches most of them upstairs and when those big shots land repeatedly the referee has no choice but to step in and call the fight Ready, fight? Ready. Go. Well, it just hits different when George St. Pierre is in the building, right? I feel like I should just lay out and let that crowd marinate. I have said, in terms of per capita noise per fan, no fans are as loud as the Canadians. I can hear them tonight. All right, round one action here, and he's not wasting any time getting the takedown. We kind of felt like it would be there for him, and he's able to get the kickboxer down low. Why? Oh, he's Smart adjustment, yep. There it is, now he's going to mount. He's got to be careful. Oh, that's a huge connection there, DC. He massive, is hurt. Massive hook land. And his opponent seems to be on his way out of the fight. Oh, he's going for his arm now. Oh, that's very deep now. That's in. Oh, he's out. He actually is 
escape. Look, I gotta stop writing these dudes' obituaries, man. I always think they're done. Surprise me. Posture's up. Another corner palm strike lands for this man. Oh, we might get a stoppage here. Ready to fight? Ready. All right, so the MMA leader back in Montreal tonight. We are inside Bell Center where the hockey fans are making noise for mixed martial arts tonight. This is as good an MMA setting as we have on the entire calendar. I remember seeing... Well, she told us in our final meeting on Thursday the double leg would be there. It was certainly there in that instance. J.A., she said they're not built like her. Right. They can't stand up to the freight train double. It's just got it off. Great job, great technique, great confidence in that position. Arms in deep. Oh, this is tight. And somehow, some way, she gets out. What a beautiful job pushing the leg over your head, freeing your head. Unbelievable. Might be able to hook onto an arm here. Got that submission locked up very tight. Ready to fight? Ready. Good. All right, so here's Jessica Andrade in another big spot. She has had so many shining moments in the UFC, has been a champion before, has been a workhorse for the promoter, stepping up on short notice in three different divisions, I might add. You can tell I got a healthy amount of respect for Jessica Andrade, and she talked this week about this matchup. She believes it's going to be a kickboxing match. She believes her striking is going to rule the day. We'll see if that is indeed how the fight plays out. Fight behind a nice jab. Man, she's worth the price of admission. This fight is just getting underway, and Jessica Andrade, the bull that she is, already just throwing wayward hooks left and right. I love her. <laughs> I love the way that she fights, John, because she leaves nothing to be desired. She goes forward, and she is just throwing these big shots around the body. And the moment you get out of position, she'll grab you and just throw you on top of your head. She is a bull in a china shop, and she wants to break everything. And it all starts throwing those hooks from both sides, left and right. All right, she's in the full guard here, BC. She's going to be looking to pass, try to get to the next position. 
Ooh, elbow from the bottom lands. That had some zip on it. Oh, she's got the arm. She's got it isolated, John. George St. Pierre back on the proven ground tonight. He wanted this Kamal Usman challenge. Now we'll see what he can do. He is a massive star. I remember being in Montreal when he fought Josh Koscheck. The sound that that arena made when he hit the curtain was like nothing I have ever heard before. But Kamal Usman understands that if he is going to be considered the greatest, he has got to beat that star. He has got to beat that man. That is not an easy thing to do. George St. Pierre is the man. Let's see who finally gets it done. Let's see who's considered the greatest weapon of all time at the end of this day. All right, so we have got a full-on brawl to start this fight. Any concern that these guys might burn? Oh! Several in the round, really starting to find some consistency with that one. He's finding a hole for that hook. He does a phenomenal job of keeping the elbow tight, really twisting his hip into that punch. Under three minutes now to go in the round. And he will let his opponent stand up here. Oh, you see his high-level footwork here, maybe trying to set up that hook shot again, potentially. You could tell, John, he's setting a trap. He's trying to walk his opponent back into his hook side, his big power side. So he'll keep faint, not little punches, with no intent to land, just to get his opponent where he needs him to be to land that kill shot. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony. Always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. Inside the pose, going. St. Pierre's going for an arm here. Ooh, that looks wicked tight. It's getting tight now. He's advancing. Oh, that's got to be it. Oh, he's out. He actually escaped. Look, I'm going to stop writing these these obituaries, man. I always think they're done. Setting up the arm bar here. Beautiful setup on that arm bar. Oh, that looks tight to me. It's locked in. Ready. Ready. 
Good. Well, what else can you say about the overachiever Frankie Edgar? Came into mixed martial arts as a wrestler. The striking has certainly caught up with the grappling. Black belt in Brazilian jiu-jitsu. But perhaps his greatest weapon is head movement, his defensive boxing, and his ability to take a shot. Nobody has done it better in the lighter weight classes than the... Oh, nice double leg, yes. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Versus now potentially working on a submission instead. Oh, he got out. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything wrong to allow for himself to get so. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. And just misses with that big right hand. Oh, Peck. Great combination to the head. Just misses with the left hook. Another blistering combination there. Really starting to do a nice job stringing his shots together. And you can see the damage in his opponent's body. His face, his body, his legs. He's beating him up on all the targets. It's not one guy just headhunting. He is finding every opening that it presented to him. Somehow, his opponent stayed up with him. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Oh, big left hook there. And that's just got right in there. Oh, big right in. Oh, you go here. Nice transition from the underhook into the single leg to get a massive takedown. And those slams really go a long way with the judges. Huge authority behind that takedown there. The young belly. Oh, it looks as though that's true. All oh, these ground strikes are just brutal. in this arena as Max Holloway and Conor McGregor get ready to engage once again. And gotta think these guys are completely different versions of the ones that we saw when they first met in 2013. Yeah, John, the energy anytime Conor McGregor fights is through the roof. But when you have an opponent like Max Holloway, a guy who also possesses star power, a guy that has the cachet to match Conor McGregor, you know that you're in for something big. But ultimately, it's about the skill that these two put on display every time they step in the octagon that I'm looking forward to. Man, back and forth we go, and early on, these guys getting after it. They told us it would be fun, and so far, they've delivered. Oh! Big left hand there inside. Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. So just over 20 total strikes should now land it for Conor McGregor. Oh, roundhouse kick. Style points on that one. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Wow, what a kick. And now he lands a combination. 
submission. Well, he continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. Oh. And they separate. All right, so look at that. A cut has been opened around that eye area. He's taking shots over and over again to that area, and now he's dealing with a cut. Holloway's nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. Well, I'm no fighter, but if I rock a guy to that extent, I feel like I'm closing the show. Absolutely. You got to go close the show if you get a guy hurt that bad. You cannot back up. Oh. You take your time. He's right for the picket. Go and pick the fruit. <laughs> Oh, you can feel the breeze there. Swing and a miss by McGregor. Oh, and that is a pinpoint left hand right there for McGregor. It is his best strike. It is because he's no big double leg level change. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Now he's going full mount. Oh, big elbow. All right, he's in a half-guard position here, DC, and in a good spot to dole out a lot of damage, I would think. A lot of damage can be done from the half-guard. You sit back on that leg, you press down into your opponent, you drop elbows, you drop punches. What is very key is you controlling the underhook on the far side. If you give up that underhook, your opponent can use the half-guard. All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's your replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well, but when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal. And if he... Round two now is upon us. Conor right, McGregor right. versus right. Max Holloway. Yes. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs. Both got the offense going, but now we'll see if one fighter or the other can really take control of what has been a very close.